Hello everyone. Um, so last video I showed how to update uh, um, the software on the Manta M8 uh, PCB1 uh, board for Clipper. So how to update Clipper, Clipper screen, and the web UI, and all that kind of stuff. So you can do it via web UI or you can do via the console. But there is another method, and it's probably the simplest one. Uh, which is uh, via the monitor or the screen if you have a screen attached to your Manta M8 board so when you uh, boot up uh, in the uh, Manta 8 boards and the CB1 uh, it, you get to the clipper uh, screen uh, main menu now I have errors because um, I didn't fix the config file yet and on the board I have nothing attached beside the drivers which are not powered the board is not powered, I'm powering the board via uh, USB and the only thing that I attached is the uh, a USB cable to uh, to power the, uh, the screen here on the side and the HDMI uh, output goes to a micro HDMI on the board on the side and I have a video um, uh, how to do that so you can check it out that but one thing I wanted to show is how to update the uh, the various software on the uh, Clipper OS so on the screen if you go to menu uh, there are three uh, options here settings networks and if you go to systems here it shows you uh, all the software that you installed if they are up to date or not so in this case I have a clipper skin I have an invalid I'm not sure what does that mean and then I have the clipper an update for the clipper main cell is up to date uh, fluid is needs to be updated and moon uh, needs to update and in a system update so let's go through all uh, these updates let's do the first the, this one and it will update to the version and it will update and the cool part is it shows you what it's doing and it's similar to console or the output on the uh, web UI and just finished so you, uh, you go back menu system it's up to date fluid okay now let's update clipper actually let's update Moonraker uh, update as a process to data oh it tells you okay what uh, uh, things is going to be updated okay connect to a printer which is not there so uh, maybe it's not going to work mm, let's see just a second Okay, I'm back in. Uh, battery again. Uh, even though it was all charged, I guess the battery is not good. Anyway, so it's up to date. Memory right here. Let's do Clipper now. Okay, and let's do the update. Okay, looks like it's done. Let's see updated okay uh, let's try this clipper skin which tells you do you want to recover uh, let's do a soft recover okay let's see what it does okay let's go back to the system ah, looks like uh, it recovered and let's do a system update and okay let's do the update and this is more uh, OS related um, update anyway so this is like um, the third method uh, how to update uh, your uh, clipper um, system on the uh, uh, CB1 uh, board
Okay, it's very similar to the console. You get the uh, pretty much the same output, which I like because you see all the packages that have been installed. Uh, and you, for example, you see if there are any issues with libraries or you know whatever. Okay, almost there. Finished, okay, great. And let's go to the menu. Okay, looks like everything is up to date. So let's do a refresh. Everything is okay. Let's do a restart. Let's do a on the host. It's going to reboot. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. It shouldn't. Uh, sometimes I get that and I needed to reboot, but okay. So this time didn't do it. Somehow, um, sometimes I get that no signal and it stays there, but the system is up and uh, I just reconnect the HDMI or or the USB and everything gets back uh, to normal so I'm not sure what's that because you don't see any errors so you have no clue what's going on okay we're almost getting there I should uh, come back and there it is. Okay, same error that I have, it doesn't matter that one. And you go to system and it's up to date. That's it. So if you go back to the main menu, you can then restart firmware and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so just wanted to show this uh, because uh, uh, some people ask how many, time, how many uh, methods there are to do updates and there are three basically. Uh, so depending on how your your printer, your system is set up. So if you have just the screen, you can update it from here. If you have a web UI, you can update it from there. Uh, or if you don't have uh, any of this, you can update it from uh, the console. So that's it. So uh, it was pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, I'm going to do more videos in the coming weeks, so please leave a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, I have many people that watch the videos but uh, are not subscribers, so please do, it's free. And um, I'm going to, uh, if you have any questions, please leave a message on the uh, comments uh, section and um, I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.